So what's going on guys, Kate's here and welcome back to a brand new video. For today I will show you the best new tamer build in the first descendant. In this quick guide I will show you how to get this weapon the fastest, then what are the best modules, then how can you upgrade it, and then lastly we will take a closer look at the gameplay and weapon mods, so you would know the reason behind every single attachment choice, and what exactly will give us this insane damage and much more. If this sounds interesting to you then let's get right into it. So Tamer is one of the best rare machine guns currently in the game, that is very easy to get, and with the right mods you can do up to 700,000 damage. I've seen my other friends using this exact setup, but having everything upgraded to the max and getting 800 or even 900,000 DPS. So this weapon has a huge potential, as long as you use this exact setup. And as far as my recommendation goes, the best descendants to use for this weapon are Ajax, Cal, Jaybear and Enzo. Because we will be doing insane damage, in return we will sacrifice our movement speed. So we want to use the setup for builds that can survive few enemy hits. So then the way you get this weapon is by simply grinding the Aigna Desert Zone mission, which is called the Abonid Restriction Site in the Remnant area. The Aigna Desert Zone is the fifth overworld zone in the game and you must play through the main story campaign to unlock the access to it. If you are new to the game and playing with your first character, then you will need to fully advance your descendant to level 40 and beat the dead bride before you can reach it. But then that's it, just grind this overpowered area and it will drop as a random loot drop. And then when you get it, for mods we wanna go with the rifling reinforcement, which increases ADK by 12%. Then action and reaction, which increases ADK by 15% but increases recoil by 5%. Then expand weapon charge, that increases rounds per magazine by 12%. Then weak point sight, that increases weak point damage by 10% but reduces accuracy by minus 5%. Then mental focus, that decreases fire rate by 10%. But now instead when you fire a weapon, your ATK increases by 0.8% for 2 seconds and it can stack up to 30 times. And as we have 100 rounds per magazine, so we will be doing insane amount of damage on the enemy boss. The next up we have the fire rate up, that increases our fire rate by 6%. Then concentrate support ammo, which increases rounds per magazine by 8%. And your critical hit damage is increased by 4%. Then focus on fire, that increases weak point damage by 5%. And critical hit damage by 4%. And finally the electric enhancement, that adds electric ADK equal to 8% of your weapon's ADK. As you can see because of our setup, we can do more than half a million DPS. And our setup like for most people is focused on ADK, crit damage and crit rate increase. As I said at the start, the numbers will vary on your reactor, your specific descendant and how high or low your weapon levels are. So what I recommend to do is use this exact build, then choose which descendant you want to use it on and then just scroll through my channel and you will find the best build for every single character. So then just combine this tamer setup with your favorite descendant build and that's it. Now you have the highest damage build in the game. And then last but not the least, let me show you how can you upgrade this weapon. So when you craft it, you will start at level 1, but by using the repair station and by dismantling all the other weapons that you don't use, you will be able to upgrade it. So that's why I recommend to break down your useless weapons, rather than selling them, because credits are way easier to earn than the materials. So keep getting materials and upgrading your weapon, and then on top of that, you can use the readjustment mechanic, which allows you to use the workbench to reroll your weapon stats. Moreover, you can reroll all of the stats at once, or lock down individual stats you like, and only reroll the ones you don't, and the stats that we wanna get are crit damage, crit rate and ATK increase. So with all of this out of the way, now comes the fun part which is the gameplay mechanics. The best way to use Tamer is by hitting the enemy's weak point. With 100 rounds in a magazine, the Tamer can constantly hold down the trigger and do massive critical hit damage, even on a starter level character. You don't want to constantly reload the Tamer, because you will lose the 30 stacks, so you just have to look out for times when you're not getting targeted, and then unleash this beast of a weapon. The Tamer uses general rounds, so we have to look out as well for white ammo pieces on the ground. Enzo is a great descendant, because he can drop a supply drone with ammunition for you and your party. So just stand still, spray and pray and have fun. 
And with that said, I really do appreciate everyone for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or suggestions, then feel free to leave your comments in the comment section down below. And while you're doing that, please click like, subscribe and enable that notification bell, so this way you could support the channel and not miss any more amazing content. With that said, you have an amazing day and I will see you in the next one, so take it easy, peace.